firstly about availability for tomorrow evening, in particular Romelu Lukaku, Antonio Rudiger and Thiago Silva, when he's back from Brazil in five. He will be back uh, in the afternoon, hopefully safe, be back Thiago from, from this match in Brazil. Um, so we had our talk today about Brentford, we had our tactical training today, he missed all that, he played 90 minutes, he has 12 hours of travelling. So that answers maybe that he is, uh, gives the answer about his availability, he is not. And uh, Tony Rüdiger is injured, came back injured from national team, he's also not available, Christian Pulisic is still uh, injured and not available and we have uh, doubts with Hakim Ziyech, he missed the last two trainings with a headache and uh, seems that he's not with the squad tomorrow. Romelu is mm -hmm. back, he was fine, he was just a precautionary. Yes, yes, position. Romelu is fine doing all training sessions and, and uh, will play tomorrow. Just reading into your body language there, it seems you're not particularly happy with the Thiago Silva situation. Of course I'm not happy but I knew it before, I knew before when he will come back and uh, we knew before when he will travel so nothing new, it's no, I, I got used to a lot of stuff in in, uh, in national breaks and this is how it is nowadays, are we happy about it, uh, all the coaches with a, with a, with a amount of games our players play for, for their countries, no we are not, does anybody ask us, no also not. <laughs> and does it change anything? Also not. So we should not, no, I, I did not, uh, I don't get bad mood because of this. I knew it before. Just one final question from me and obviously the big news during the international break here was the Newcastle takeover. Mm -hmm. What do you think that means for the Premier League and do you have concerns about where the money is coming from? In general, yes. In general, yes, and I think it's uh, it's normal that that people have concerns, but uh, we trust in in Premier League that they uh, they have accepted, yeah. and they are the authorities in this case. So why? Um, um, and and this is a fact now. They allowed it. They have uh, new owners, and the new owners promise to be um, seem to be very promising for for all fans and for for a famous club here in England, big club. And it seems that we have a, a, a new competitor for 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 titles and for 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 places in the in the top ranking and. Um, this is what we're up for. We play in the in the toughest league, and it seems to get tougher. Nick Pure. Hi, Thomas. When, Hi. when you do have uh, when you do have matches like this, obviously after an international break, you don't have much time with your full squad, and they've got to switch back from you know international mentality to club mentality. Yeah. Is mentality for the individuals in the group the big thing? Is is it um, is it the biggest challenge for the players getting there? Yeah. Head back into exactly what you've got to do given that they haven't, they haven't had much contact time together in the week. Yeah, absolutely. To recreate the feeling and the momentum and the energy that, that every team needs in this league to, to win game and that we need to be able to, to produce um, results consistently. This is the big challenge and it's always dif difficult. Uh, after after all the the traveling and after all the the games for different um, for different teams different countries different style of play it's always the same and it's always a challenge to to restart the engines to to restart the and um, the and and to to restart the the momentum and like you said you can call it mentality or, or whatever but it's it's um, it's it's not so easy, and but on the other hand, we are used to it, and uh, it's good if you are aware of the possibilities that things can be difficult. Nobody expects an easy game tomorrow. I think this is very very clear for us, and this is uh, a good first step to arrive with a with the right uh, mentality, as you call it, or like I said, with a, with the right expectations. Um, we we face a tough opponent and in a, in a very in a very difficult moment. Um, because they are in a in a in a very good moment uh, um, at this time, in a very they deserve their points. They have a lot of points. They will play with a lot of enthusiasm, and and this is what we have to face. And we have to face it with only two training sessions together. Yeah, but that's the challenge, and we will see how good we are in it.
John Townsend. <coughs> Oh, so was, Hi. You're, you're clearly frustrated with the international break. You, you've spoken about it before. You say the managers aren't kind of spoken about or too about it. Um, is it something do you think the managers need to address? Because you, you've got another one coming up in three weeks as well where you're going to lose the players. Is it something as a group you need to do something about? We speak about it during the UEFA coaches' meetings. We speak about it. And, um, well, the, the, the calendar is the calendar and, and after that you have to accept it. I'm not even like too frustrated about it. I don't like it. I think it's too many games. I think it's too many competitions, too many games uh, for the top players in, in the clubs and, and the game is for the, for the players and is for the spectators and the spectators want to have the, the, the top players on the pitch and they want them healthy and they want them fit and in shape and hungry. And um, you, you cannot always provide it if you, if you play so many games in so many different um, uh, competitions. And uh, given the fact that we only have three changes uh, in, in Premier League and not five like all the other leagues, is, uh, is, uh, yeah, it's a big thing which, uh, which we have to cope with. And um, no, but I'm, not, I'm actually not too frustrated. I'm sorry when, I, when you have all the impression. Maybe it's just my body language today, but I'm not too frustrated. I know what's what's coming. I know that the next uh, national break is coming, and I know we have seven games in between, and uh, we try to do the very best in, in every national break. A actually, this national break was a little bit better for us in terms of minutes and, and management from the players, and, and we had the chance to give some of our players some two days off to rest and uh, to recharge the batteries. So this, this one even felt a bit better at least a little bit better than, than the, 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 the last one, but the next one is at the, on the horizon and, and will come. We have now seven games to play and then the guys will go again and, and keep on playing. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if you've, heard, you've asked, asked this before, but what do you think of Arsene Wenger's solution to, to it? I don't know enough about it, I have to say. I trust Arsene Wenger that he thinks about football first, so... Um, is it worth to, to discuss with him and, and, and to, to listen to him? Yes, absolutely. But I have not, uh, I have not had the time to, 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 to dig in and to, to, to be well informed to speak about it. And just to final one on Brentford, if you were to pick a game to come back for after the international break, it might not be Brentford away because they will be incredibly up for it. And as you say, you're missing some yes. key players. Yes, they will be up for it. This is, but but uh, we need to be. Of course, they they um, they play with a lot of enthusiasm, and and uh, they catch already momentum and all the, the enthusiasm from 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 getting promoted after so many years where they tried hard, and and finally Chelsea comes not for a cup game and not for a friendly game, but Chelsea arrives for a game in Premier League, and they have so many points on their side. They have such good results and um, they're doing a fantastic job and uh, the atmosphere will be like this. They will play with a lot of courage. They will play with a lot of confidence, but we cannot be surprised. We know all this and now it's on us to adapt and, and uh, to accept and the situation like it is, they will not, uh, they will not gift us uh, a single inch on the field. And uh, we have to get ready, to, to be ready actually, uh, mentally and, and physically of course, and also tactically. This is not a match now about knowing the solutions or showing in, in or outskill the opponent. This is also a, a match where we have to match the, the, the mentality and the attitude. And this is what we exactly did against Southampton. Uh, we accepted the role as maybe the, that the other team is the underdog and we are the favorites, we accepted it but it did not uh, keep us from, from playing like, like, like underdogs. We played a, a very, very intense game and a very a nice game of football against, against um, Southampton, and we try to do the same thing tomorrow. There are some obstacles to overcome, and of course it's uh, never easy after a national break, but uh, I hope that we will be prepared, and um, so far we have the feeling that we, done, we have done everything to arrive in the, in the in the best shape possible, and, and uh, then we give it a go. Okay, last two, Jerry Fox and Adam Newton <coughs> to finish. Jerry. Hi, Thomas. Good Hi. afternoon. Um, you've got five players, five Chelsea players nominated for the Ballon d'Or. Um, oh. If you had to pick one, if you had to make a choice, 
Which one would it be? Do you believe me if I tell you that I don't even know who it is on the list? So you have to, to uh, first you would, uh, I'm, not, I'm not into these single awards and individual awards. I believe that uh, this is a team effort and what we did last season that these players are on the list was a team effort. We were more than just single players. We were uh, a, a team, we were a group of friends almost and, and it felt like it. We were a strong club and, 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 and the guys were a strong, strong team in every single uh, game. And that gave us the possibility to reach a final, a big final and to win it. And this gives us the possibility to have some players on this famous list of 30 names. I'm super happy when there are five names uh, from us because it shows that uh, it is valued and and um, that uh, that uh, the guys did a good job and and they are in the spotlight. So I, I I hope that one of our player gets it because it will increase the confidence and 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 everything you need to become a, a good player. But it's I, I don't even know which five names are on the list and I will not I will not judge anybody over another. They have uh, done an incredible job last season, and and I'm. It is about last season. I'm already since long, since many weeks. I'm I'm into the future and into the present. Um, we have to forget all this and and uh, don't 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 uh, put it too high. What what happens about last season? All these awards. Last question, Adam Newson. Hi Thomas. Given you've already played the likes of uh, Arsenal, Liverpool, Tottenham, Man City. Now you have a run of, of seven games yeah. where you've got quote unquote easier fixtures and you've got the two games against Manma. How important do you see these next seven games in, in terms of your season as a whole? You know, I cannot agree less with you because you used the word easier. I can agree if you mean like that uh, we have seven games where we are seven times the favourites and we have seven times to prove that we are the better team because we want to be the better team and there's I think we should not be shy to, to acknowledge that. We should not make us smaller than we are. We want to prove seven times now in the, in the next spell that we, are, we, de we deserve to be the favorites. But after, and, and, and we need a certain mentality to do so. And if, we, if favorite means that things will be easy, we cannot be, we cannot be more wrong. And, and, and this is the total wrong path to go. If being the favorite means that we still expect a tough one tomorrow at Brentford, then this is a good one to accept. And in the end, we have to, um, to take all the pressure off our shoulders and take risks in the game and, and, and play with a certain freedom because with a, with a fear to lose or with a fear of losing a status, you can win absolutely nothing. And uh, that's why uh, if you sign for Chelsea, if you work for Chelsea, if you play for Chelsea, then you play to win and you cannot be surprised if you are the favorites in a, in a game against Brentford. But uh, does this change any expectation? Hopefully not, because once we have our expectation right, what we, what we expect from tomorrow's game, we have the attitude right. And when we have the attitude right, we hopefully get the result right. So this is what we are doing and this is where the focus is and and then we we know that we have a, a spell of seven games but it's 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 seven different ones and seven tough ones and i have coached an underdog team long enough in in, in germany to know uh, how how capable you can be as a as a as a group to close the gap for 90 minutes this is possible in football now we're on the other side and try to try to make a point in every of the single in every single game and it starts with tomorrow